In this demonstration, I will show users how to both register for access to the Civil Online Portal, as well as how to sign in once successfully registered. On clicking on the Civil Online hyperlink from the Scottish Courts and Tribunal Service website, users will be brought to this page and should select Sign In with B2C to continue. Solicitors who wish to sign up for access to Civil Online should select the option at the bottom of the page marked If you are a solicitor in the case, sign up here and click the hyperlink here as indicated. Users will then be asked to enter their email address and solicitor ID. Your solicitor ID is your company ID number, which is usually your Law Society branch number. If your branch or firm is not already registered for access to Civil Online, you should contact the Civil Lab on civilonlinelab at scottcourts.gov.uk to arrange access. If your branch or firm has previously been set up with access for Civil Online, but you do not know the solicitor ID, please ask a colleague in the first instance. However, if this is not possible, please contact the Civil Lab on the email previously provided for further assistance. Once these details have been entered, users should click Continue. Users are now asked to verify the email address entered. Users should double check the email address is correct. If any amendments are required to the email address, users should simply navigate back using their browser back button and make any amendments as necessary. If correct, users should select send verification code. A verification code will then be sent to the user's email address. If for any reason the verification code is not received, users can opt to have a new code sent by clicking Send New Code. Once received, the verification code should be entered and the user should select Verify Code. Your email address will now be verified and users should select continue to progress further. Users are then asked to create and confirm a new password of between 9 and 64 characters using a combination of lowercase, uppercase, numeric and symbol characters, of which three of these character types must be included in the password. When the user then selects continue, their details will be registered for access to Civil Online. The page will then refresh and users are returned to the beginning of the login process. Users should once again click sign in with B2C to return to the login page. Users can now enter the email address they used when registering for the portal. as well as the password previously selected and select sign in. Once per day, users will be asked to verify their email address. Users should click on send verification code. A verification code will now be sent to the email address stated. Once the verification code has been retrieved from the user's email, it should be entered in the box provided. And the user should click verify code. 
the email address has now been verified and users can click continue to access the civil online portal. This verification step will only be required once per day. Once users have passed the multi-factor authentication once per day, users will simply be able to access the portal using their email address and password.